Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. We are going to be talking about Golden Quail today and I'm so excited. I actually just filmed this entire video and then realized that my microphone wasn't turned on. <laughs> so here we are, take two. I have already done pen testing in this so you won't be seeing me do it live or on the camera because I already did it and I'll just show you what I did. So I'm going to move everything to the side. This is the ending, the ending shot of my video from the last time I filmed it. And we're gonna get into it again. So hopefully it will be even better this time and I'll remember everything that I, maybe I forgot the last or I hope I don't forget anything. The first thing I wanted to show you, this is the box that Golden Quail sends their products in. Isn't it pretty? I love this, like it's kind of a hard, black box, it's super classy. And the planner comes very protected in, it's wrapped inside of this and then inside of an outer box. There is foil on there and then on the side as well. And one thing, if you don't know Golden Quail, it is probably the most customizable planner on the market. There are several companies that allow you to customize your planner, but I don't know of any that have as many options as Golden Coil does. And it is just a classy planner too. So everything is classy, professional. It's completely neutral inside, which I love. And they have the probably the most gorgeous cover options on the market as well. I'm gonna put it to the side because I actually want to walk through the website with you just a little bit. I have my iPad here and hopefully you can see it well. The first thing you do when you pick a planner, you'll go to planners and then you get to choose the cover. So they have seven different designer cover options available. Really there was no choice for me when I saw a sunflower cover. I think a lot of you know this about me, but I am obsessed with yellow. I have been since I was a little girl and I love all things yellow. And sunflowers are my favorite flowers. I just felt like that cover was made for me. It's so cute, but I do love this one too. And honestly, they're all beautiful. So those are their designer covers. Then they have linen covers in the most gorgeous colors ever. I love their options that they have. So they have several of those. And then down here at the bottom, there are four different leather options as well. So you get to choose the cover. So I'm gonna click on the one that I chose. There is the name of the artist. So choose this cover. The next thing you'll do is you get to choose your fill page. So this is that front page, the name page that everyone gets nervous about writing their name on. Well, they will print it for you. So you can put your full name, your email address, phone number, and also a message so you can put a quote or anything that you want there. They also offer you to upload your contacts. So you can put important contacts in your planner and you don't even have to type them out. You can upload a file that you already have prepared or you can type them in here. Next is the dates page. So you choose the start date. It can be a Monday or a Sunday start. And then you also choose the date of your planner. This can be a quarterly planner. It can be a 18 month planner. You just choose what you want to have and then go to the events. The events here, you can choose from all these different holiday lists or you can have none. You can have it completely blank, which is generally what I do, although I didn't do it this time. So they have US holidays, Canadian holidays, world holidays, food holidays, and fun holidays. The fun holidays are really fun, like lazy day or bubble bath day or different things like that. Also, you can upload your own holidays and your own events in here. So if you wanna put all your kids' birthdays and all of your school's times that they have out or anything like that, you can put it into your planner. Next up, you choose your layout. Golden Coil has so many options. They have weekly on a double page, weekly on a single page. They look like this, so there's like notes on this side and your week on the other. They have daily pages and, and there's just so many to choose from. The weekly single page, you have just so many different layouts. I've never seen a company that had so many layouts, so many options. So I chose the, this is a new one, I think. I had never seen it before, but sections one is what I chose, which I'll show you in my planner. Next, you get to choose add-on pages if you're interested. So they have like year at a glances, they have month at a glances, they have reminders and addresses, and and that's just what's in calendaring. They also have food 
options, health options, projects options, lifestyle options, and some standard like like music staffs. <laughs> you can you can make music in your planner, spreadsheets, to dos, and you can look at them up here what they look like. And you can choose to have them at the end of your planner, at the beginning of your planner, dispersed throughout your planner. There's just so many. They also have an add-on here where you can add in quotes. And they have several options available. They have pop culture. They have creativity, motivational. I chose spiritual, but they also have self-care challenges. They have normal challenges, literary quotes. That would have been fun. Maybe I should have done that one. As you are making your planner and choosing the layouts and picking the pages you want on, it shows that you have a maximum of 242 pages here. I'm currently at 90 in my planner and it says the price. So as you are adding things on, it is totaling the price for you here so you can see. Uh, Golden Coil is not the cheapest planner on the market. They are so customizable and because of that, they're not doing this mass production of planners. So you understand why it's a little bit of a higher price. They also have really great quality materials, which I'll show you in just a second, but you are going to love this. Sometimes I just go on this website just to play around and make a planner. It's really fun. Here is the beautiful cover I chose. They have a wire O binding that's kind of in like a rustic gold color. It looks really pretty with the kind of designs that they have. I feel like it goes perfect. Golden Coil is written right there in a foil. And then also their little logo is right there. It's really not super noticeable, which I appreciate. All right, let's dive in. So I put my name in here, my year, and then I put a scripture here. Be thou humble and the Lord thy God to lead thee by the hand and give the answers to thy prayers. That's what I put right there. I added in a, this year at a glance. I love this kind of year at a glance. It's one of my favorite things to do, tracking or different things like that. I added in this year at a glance as well. I thought I would use this for my nursing job. I might use it for my sticker shop. It's going to be one of the two. But if it's for my nursing job, my thought here was that I would put, we have monthly meetings that we go in for. There's two a month. And so I thought I would just put the date of those meetings and write them in each month. And then here is what the month looks like. They have a big header and a big footer space. You have lots of options to do it. It's a really classy layout. And the writing in here is a gray, it's a charcoal, and then all the lines are lighter than that. It is an inch and a quarter by an inch and a half, so it's a good amount of writing space. I chose to have the U.S. holidays and the fun holidays in here. So, for example, in January, New Year's Day, Bubble Bath Day, Fall what Festival of Sleep Day, that sounds fun, Whipped Cream Day, Kiss a Ginger Day. I have a son who is a redhead, so I can do that. World Religion Day, Popcorn Day, Backward Day, Nothing Day, Martin Luther King Day. Those are all things that they put into my January. I then added, dispersed through the planner, a grid. Grid is like my favorite thing, but I thought I could track different things in here. And then here's the layout that I chose. So it is Monday through Sunday with a next week box here. You have two to-do lists on either side. So this could be for the first half of the week and this could be for the second. And then you have a little note section. This is like the perfect size for a post-it note. And so you could put a post-it note in here that you carry on from week to week. And then it has my spiritual quotes down here. So for example, this one says, one rain does not make a crop. And that's an Indian proverb. So each week looks like that. You can see the holidays here written into the week as well. And then you have the next month. There are no tabs on a golden coil, by the way. So if you'd like those, you can add them on. And then the grid page that I chose and it goes into the next week. At the very end of my book, I chose just a couple of things. So here's the last weeks of December. I chose for my book to be January through December. And then I added a reminders page. So this is you can track different things that you need to get done each month. So here's January through December. And then you can track like, I don't know, what do you do monthly? Change your filters or something. You know, you could track each those things and make sure you get them done each month. This is just a big checklist that I added on. Maybe it went with this page. I actually think these go together. And then... 
I added in meeting notes. I chose to have 12. You can have more. You can have less of these meeting notes. We have one meeting a month. It's a health council meeting for my nursing job. So I thought this would be perfect for the health council. So I have 12 in here. At the end of this book, there is a folder that is not coded, but it is a really beautiful, very sturdy cardstock and it looks like it's just a one-sided folder so there's not one on this side so just one side and it's this really beautiful like linen-y texture on this and then the back cover I did my pen testing on this so I did a uniball one a micron pen a jelly roll this is it's a brushable from zig and then a sarasa micron and this is a fountain pen it's this fountain pen here that's the only one that i can see real shadowing in when i turn this you can see a little bit of the shadowing on the darker side of this one in person i can hardly see it it's funny because i'm looking over there at my computer screen where it this is being projected onto and i can see them better on the screen in person I can hardly see them. That is really funny. Down here is where the fountain pen was, and I can see just right here two little dots. There definitely is shadowing from that fountain pen. So it takes it really well. I can't remember what I've said the last time I filmed this or this time, but I'm going to say it again just in case. This paper is basically the Erin Condren paper. It's nearly identical. It is 80 pound Mohawk paper, but this is cream color where Erin Condren's is white. I'm going to show you two different papers up next to this. One is Moxie Life and one is Erin Condren. Moxie Life is a cool tone, bright white. Erin Condren is a warm tone, bright white, but you'll be able to see how they differ. And this, when I don't have a white paper on top of it, it looks white to me. So it's not like a really deep cream. But when you hold up a white paper next to it, you can for sure tell. So this is a Moxie Life. And here when I put it on it, you can see that it is cooler and it is wider. So there's the Moxie Life. Let me hold up Erin Condren. Erin Condren is a warmer white, but still bright. Here it is next to it. Let me get one page so we can see it better. So there you can see it is a whiter paper and this is a creamier paper. Now I wouldn't call this like that vintage cream that you see in some like old books. It definitely looks like a nice paper. I have a book here. This is the Ashley Shelley Peace Journal and she chose a creamy paper to go inside so it's kind of like a book, like that creamy book paper. And this one is even deeper and more warm than this if you can tell. Let me put it on top of each other. So there you can see it's not, it's kind of in between the white and this like standard creamy paper. So it's not really a deep cream, but it's really nice. I actually love writing on it. Um, I put some stickers down somewhere in this. If you use stickers and they're printed on white, somewhere in here, there it is, and they're printed on white, you will be able to see the border of the stickers. You can see that there is a white border around these stickers and that it does stand out against the cream, but it is not super noticeable. So that's not something that I would be concerned about if you want to use stickers. The columns here are an inch and a half. They're ju actually just under an inch and a half, but most of your quarter boxes or full boxes will be able to fit into here. In fact, let's pull out a full box. So this is from my kit 133. I just used it in a plan with me and we will test out the size. So these I can just tell by looking are taller than your standard full box and they're a little bit wider. They're almost perfect. So you'll be able to use that and then just have a little bit left over. I still think it would be really cute if you want to use those in the days and it would work just fine. Here's quarter box here. And so you can see what a quarter box would look like there. Like it's pretty perfect. They're just slightly like itty bitty, barely can tell slightly more narrow than your Erin Condren vertical. It's just tiny itty bitty bit. So I think it's such a great layout. I think this will be an amazing work planner or if you're really task oriented, I think it will be so great. I think it would be great for social media. I'm really excited to use this. I was pretty set on using it for my nursing job, 
But now I'm thinking it might be better for my sticker shop and I could put my releases and different things I need to get done here and all the to-dos I have for that half of the week and this half of the week. So we'll see. I want to use it for something for sure. Thank you so much for watching my Golden Coil Take Two video. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed and that you'll check out Golden Coil. I am not an affiliate with them, just a big fan. Up to this point, all my Golden Coil videos I purchased myself. They did send this one to me and I am so grateful. It helps me to be able to share more planners with you and companies support me in that way. So I do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. I would love to know if you've ever used Golden Coil before, if what layout is your favorite from them, or if it's something that you'd like to check out in the future. And I will talk to y'all very soon. See you, bye.